morning. Good morning, Lucy. Good morning guys so this morning I've already worked out shoveled the snow and now here I am writing in my Hobonichi cousin in the daily spread so I write out a quick to-do list so I'm kind of duplicating what I have in the weekly spread but going into a little bit more detail and this is where I also journal my day and I journal throughout the day as well and there's so much space to do that I love that oh, I love her. been really busy at work today. First day back after vacation and it's always a little bit busy and I'm struggling. And I wasn't even sure if I should um, vlog this week, but I am struggling. I'm not doing great because it's so busy. Um, but I guess that's what journaling is helping me do is just be able to get all of my thoughts down on paper. It's been a crazy day at work first monday of january is always crazy um but um i'm, I'm still working it's what 6 15 and i'll probably be working for at least another two hours and i started at 10 this morning um but the bright side is i got an order a huge order for my shop which was one of the biggest orders i've seen so that was a highlight today um and it's actually nice that the kids are home from school because I don't have to worry about driving them anywhere with how busy it is at work and how cold it is outside. Um, but that's a typical, well, that's a day for me. I'm a bit flustered because it's just been such a busy day. But I do try to make my journaling a part of my routine because it does help me to calm down. It does help me to get my thoughts on paper and it really is a stress reliever. Now I'm using this five-year journal to kind of track what the kids and I and Rob did as well as what the temperature was and just a couple of things I'm grateful for each day. And at the end of the day I go ahead and fill in just anything that I've done into my weekly spread and I love using the Coffee Monsters Co. emojis, especially this one because I just felt overworked today completely overworked so busy and overwhelming um, but I did manage to meal plan and order groceries I was not able to return the pet value and I just write down my meals here and then flipping over to the daily spread this allows me this daily spread allows me to get really creative and I love being able to do that at the end of the day I have more freedom to do brush lettering or to try my hand at drawing and sketching that seems really <laughs> out there but I love being able to do this at the end of the day early start to the day so I go ahead and fill in this yearly overview with my habit tracker and I'm actually doing pretty well so far for you know three days into January and then I move to the weekly section and fill out my sleep score which I get from my Fitbit and then check that I had done my workout and then I fill in the food that I had eaten this morning and then adding uh, that my daughter's friend came over for the day for a play date and then taking this cute paper bits co-sticker and decided to put it on a box instead 
to basically write that I had emptied the dishwasher as well as cooked a dinner early. Then once I do that, I actually flip over to the daily spread and start decorating the spread for the day. And I decorate it very simply with a sticker box from the kit along with some washi. And then I write down my to-do lists on the side there. This is kind of a replication of what I have in the weekly spread, but a little bit more detailed. And then once I've written down my to-do list, I was trying to think, what did I do? And sometimes I repeat things and then write things down that I've already done because it's just so nice to check it off. And then I go ahead and start journaling. And I do journal throughout the day. It's nice to have my journal next to me uh, on my planning desk so I can basically access it anytime. Hey guys, I didn't vlog much uh, throughout today. It's already quarter to six in the evening and work's gone by pretty well. Still busy, but not as overwhelming as it was yesterday. It's also nice to have my little partner in crime down here, Lucy. She just hangs out and sleeps here all day. So thankfully today is a much better day than yesterday. Feeling a lot less overwhelmed and a lot less anxiety. So sorry for the boring vlog day. Not much that I could vlog, not much footage in terms of vlogging. Oh my God, is that what my hair looks like? Mm. All right, but I will finish up journaling and filling out my planner and then I will sign off for the day. Lucy's begging for a treat here, so I'm gonna get her to do a trick now. Sit. Okay, wait. Wait. Okay, good girl. Down. Good, up. Up, sit. Good girl. <laughs> You should joke you puppy. Ending the night with a book. Good morning, puppers. Time for a quick stretch and a few steps. When you try to exercise and Lucy gets right in there. <laughs> so this is what I wear to work on a day-to-day -day basis working from home. A nice top. <laughs> even if it is a leopard print. Uh, hair is done. This is like the first time I've blow dried my hair in a while. No makeup, but then I am wearing my high school sweatpants. So <laughs> I only need to be seen from here up for work. That's my work attire. Just logging into work and that is the temperature. Just trying to calm myself down a few minutes before I have to head into a meeting. I'm really nervous about this meeting. Um, so just need to calm myself down. So far work today hasn't been too, too bad, um, but it has been busy. So what I wanted to show you guys though, was that what I currently have inked and what pens I'm using this week. So the pen that I always have inked up right now, because it's what I'm using for work and there's a lot of ink left in it is my Sailor Pro Gear Slim and Dragon Palace. And it currently has a Diatrementis document ink in black. And it's actually a really good well-behaved basic black and then I'm giving the Twisby Eco T a try and I currently have uh, Pilot Eroshizuku Shinkai in it and I'm using this in my five-year journal for the whole month of February but I'm also using it no whole month of January I'm also using it this week in some of my daily journaling spreads in my Hobonichi Cousin 
Then I'm also using my Pilot Vanishing Point, and this is currently inked up with J. Herbon Cafe Days Eel, so a nice brown ink to match with the brown coffee spread this week. And then the other one I do have currently inked as well is the Pilot uh, Vanishing Point Decimo. This is inked up with Sailor Ink Studio 237, but I'm not using it this week, but that's what it's inked up with. And I normally change inks pretty regularly so I don't put a ton of ink in these pens because I know that I do like to change inks pretty regularly but these are the three that I'm pretty much using this week and this one will be for the whole month of January off to my meeting having a little lunch this is Asiago and artichoke dip with some cucumber and a couple of tostitos something quick and easy Ending the day with a bit of a facial and a read cuddled up next to Lucy. Lucy, let's go. Starting with my workout in the mornings. And then once I'm ready, then I fill in my habit tracker, which seems to be going really well so far for 2022, then fill in my sleep score, and then I go in and check lists off from yesterday and add in that I did manage to relax. So I take the washi and the sticker and write down that I was able to do some reading and get my facial in. And then adding another sticker from the kit, and then going in and filling in my daily journal. I am really enjoying this whole process. Not much in terms of vlog footage today. Lucy, it is 8.24, time to get up. Slept in a little bit this morning. Did a bit of a quick lower body workout. My workout buddy. Hi, puppers. You my workout buddy. Good girl. I think Lucy likes her new sweater. Do you like your new sweater? Wow, what was that side eye? But she looks so cute. Just finishing up my daily spread from yesterday i don't always well way off i don't always finish a spread let's grab some washi i don't always finish the daily spread on the day that it on its day because sometimes things happen at night and i don't always end up finishing it so i'm going to add some washi and then i'm going to finish writing in it and then i'll get on with journaling for today
now seven o'clock. Had a pretty productive day. I'm just relaxing right now with Lucy. Um, but pretty productive day. I was able to get all the stuff done to, you know, upload things to Shopify for the new release tomorrow. I was able to film my weeks and my cousin plan with me's and actually edit them already. They just need to be uploaded, but internet speed is really slow right now, so I'll do it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that is it for today. I'm going to take it easy tonight because I have to be up so early tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is currently 6.15 on a Saturday. I slept terribly last night. I knew that I had to work early this morning, so I had my alarm set from like 4.45, 5 o'clock and 5.15. And I wanted to get up and have a quick shower, but no, I slept terribly last night. Lucy kept getting up and I don't think I slept until two, so I'm exhausted and I'm working. So I apologize for my appearance at the moment. So, good morning, happy Saturday. It is six o'clock and I realized I haven't really vlogged today or even shown you how I've used my journals today. And I haven't even really gone into my planners today. And sometimes that happens, but I'm exhausted. I did not sleep well last night. And then I worked from six till three. I'm just tired. I may not even touch my planners today. That's okay. I can catch up tomorrow. Um, yeah, tomorrow, well, tonight, we're gonna probably just have pizza for dinner, watch a movie, fold laundry. Uh, and then to bed, and then tomorrow's cleaning. So, sorry today was such a boring vlog day, but I'll be back tomorrow. Night. Happy Sunday morning. I got to sleep really well last night considering Saturday I slept terribly. But what I like to do on mornings when I don't have a workout or a weight workout is that I actually like to get some time to myself and do some steps, basically marching in place while I watch some YouTube videos. And it really relaxes me and I get about like 6,000 steps in and it's a good way for me to start my day when I don't have a strength training workout. Was a little bit disappointing rushing to get here for four and then the post office is closed oh well i'll just be back here tomorrow after work so now i'm catching up on two days worth of journaling and sometimes that happens um but i really enjoy taking the time to be able to catch up on two days worth of journaling because yesterday saturday was just so crazy busy and I was exhausted so it was nice to take the time to just fill in everything and I don't say that I back plan it's more that I'm filling in things that I forgot to fill out on the day um, not that I want to skip them if I ever miss journaling on that day it's more just trying to catch up and memory plan as well so my planner is really a mix of planning ahead but also filling in the memories and things that have happened during that day and that's what I really enjoy about this way of planning and this style of planner as well is that it allows me to plan ahead but also to write down memories and look back on this and be able to you know see the days that I had terrible sleep and look at the days that you know I didn't get a chance to catch up on journaling because I was so tired but the thing what is now is that with this daily cousin I get the chance to be creative to really take that time for myself and I am really enjoying having all of this space in the daily journal to just reflect and do what I need to do. I still have one, two, three, quite a few of these emojis, a couple of those left from the kit. So I was able to use them throughout the weekly spread as well as my journaling spread. 
So that's it, guys. I hope you guys got a good glimpse of how I use my Hobonichi. So my Ace, my, my A5 cousin, which I use the yearly section for habit tracking. And then the weekly section where I track my meals and it kind of shows you how I add things in day to day. And then flipping over to the journaling section, showing you guys how I use little bits of the kit in my daily journaling pages mixed in with stickers from other sticker books as well. And I am really loving journaling in my A5. And then also bringing in my A6 Hobonichi Techo, the five-year journal. This is the first time I've had anything like this. So in here day to day, I just write things that Rob and I and the kids have done along with the temperature and one thing I'm grateful for. And so far I am loving the practice of this and using one pen, one ink for the whole month of January. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a great day.